हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉल्यूशन सॉल्यूशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इन ट्वेल्थ क्लास केमिस्ट्री मेनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस आर आस्कड फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर पर्सनली व्हेन आई गो टू गिव इंटरव्यू इन सविता ऑयल टेक्नोलॉजीज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑयल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी हु मैन्युफैक्चर इंजन ऑयल्स आर मेनी क्वेश्चंस आस्कड फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर एंड सिमिलरली व्हेन आई गो टू Uh, give an interview in Lupin, uh, one of the big manufacturer of API, active pharmaceutical ingredient. So, uh, in that company, uh, also many interview questions asked from this uh, chapter. And then I go to uh, Renvexi, uh, which is now uh, known as Sun Pharmaceutical uh, Limited. So, many interview uh, questions asked. from this chapter that place also so you know uh, the importance of this chapter in your uh, chemistry study so let's uh, study this chapter a solution is homogeneous mixture of two or more chemically non reacting substances whose composition can be varied within certain limits expressing concentration of solution first is परसेंटेज दी मास परसेंटेज ऑफ अ कंपोनेंट दैट इज वेट बाय वेट इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ द कंपोनेंट इन द सॉल्यूशन इनटू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल मास ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सेकंड इज वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज ऑफ द कंपोनेंट दैट इज वॉल्यूम बाय वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम of the component into 100 divided by total volume of the solution third one is mass by volume percentage of the component that is weight by volume is equal to mass of the component in the solution into 100 divided by total volume of the solution so friends do remember these three formulas as if you uh, do job in any solution related uh, industry like uh, pharmaceutical industry paint industry oil industry api industry there is the use uh, of these formulas daily in daily life there like in the preparation of disinfectant solution in the preparation of the uh, api in the preparation of the pharmaceutical ingredients in the preparation of the paint oil compositions these formulas are used so do remember these formulas next is strength strength of the solution is denoted in gram per liter or gram per decameter cube is equal to mass of the solute in gram by volume of the solution in liter next is molarity number of moles of the solute divided by volume of the solution in liter so m is equal to strength in gram per liter divided by molar mass of the solute i repeat m that is molarity is equal to strength in gram per liter divided by molar mass of the solute now mole fraction mole fraction is obtained by dividing the number of moles of the solute or solvent by the total number of moles of the solution so mole fraction x1 is equal to n1 divided by n1 plus n2 and x2 is equal to n2 divided by n1 plus n2 where n1 is equal to number of moles of the solvent and n2 is equal to number of moles of the solute so x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 mole fraction mass fraction mass of the given component per unit mass of the solution denoted by x so x a is equal to w a divided by w a plus w b x b is equal to w b divided by w a plus w b w a is equal to mass of the solvent and w b is equal to mass of the solute x a plus x b is equal to 1 now we are going to discuss solution 
of solids in liquids solubility of a solid in a liquid it is defined as the maximum amount of the solid that is solute in grams which can dissolve in 100 grams of liquid solvent to form the saturated solution at a particular temperature factors affecting the solubility of a solid in liquid first nature of the solute and the solvent like dissolves like that is the polar ionic compounds like nacl dissolve in polar solvent like water the non polar covalent or organic compound dissolve in non polar compounds like anthracene dissolve in benzene second effect of temperature the solubility increases with increase of temperature when the process of dissolution is exothermic is endothermic sorry endothermic i repeat the solubility increases with increase of temperature when the process of dissolution is endothermic that is solute plus solvent plus heat gives solution example nano3 kno3 nacl kcl second the solubility decreases with increase in temperature when the process of dissolution is exothermic that is solute plus solvent gives solution plus heat example sodium carbonate monohydrate na2co3 dot h2o third those whose solubility does not increase or decrease continuously example CaCl2 plus 6H2O dot 6H2O gives CaCl2 dot 4H2O gives CaCl2 dot 2H2O. Next one is solution of gases in liquid. Solubility of a gas in a liquid. The solubility of a gas in a particular liquid is the volume of the gas. in centimeter cubes also known as cm cube that can dissolve in unit volume of the liquid to form the saturated solution at the temperature of the experimented under a pressure of one atmosphere i repeat <coughs> solubility of a gas in a liquid the solubility of a gas in a particular liquid is the volume of the gas in centimeter cubes that can dissolve in unit volume of the liquid to form the saturated solution at that temperature of the experimented under a pressure of one atmosphere now factors affecting the solubility of a liquid in a gas first nature of a gas and solvent gases like hydrogen oxygen nitrogen etc dissolve in water only to a small extent but gases like co2 hcl nh3 are highly soluble the greater solubility of later solvent later gases they react with the solvent <coughs> the greater solubility of a gas in a solvent due to their chemical similarity means if the uh, similar uh, there is a similarity between gas and the solvent then there is the chances of higher solubility second one is nature of temperature the solubility of gases decreases with increase in temperature effect of pressure henry's law by increasing the pressure solubility also increases now henry's law <coughs> the mass of a gas dissolved in the given volume of liquid at constant temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of a gas present in the equilibrium with the liquid that is m is directly proportional to p and m is equal to khp also the partial pressure of gas in vapor phase p is proportional to the mole fraction of gas x in the solution 
सो पी इज इक्वल टू के एच एक्स लिमिटेशन ऑफ हेनरीज लॉ हेनरीज लॉ इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली इफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड दैट इज प्रेशर शुड बी लो एंड टेम्परेचर शुड बी हाई गैस बिहेव एज एन आइडियल गैस द गैस शुड नॉट अंडर गो कंपाउंड फॉर्मेशन विद सॉल्वेंट और एसोसिएशन और डिसोसिएशन इन दिस सॉल्वेंट वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ लिक्विड सोल्यूशन वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ लिक्विड सोल्यूशन इज द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाय द वेपर्स इन इक्विब्रियम विद द लिक्विड और सोल्यूशन एट अ पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर रॉल्ट इट स्टेट्स दैट फॉर अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ वॉलेटाइल लिक्विड द पार्शियल वेपर प्रेशर of each component in the solution is directly proportional to its small fraction for component a pa is directly proportional to xa also pa is equal to p0a xa where p0a is equal to vapor pressure of pure component a at the same temperature for component b pb is equal to p0b xb by dalton's law of partial pressure P total is equal to P A plus P B. Also, P total is equal to P zero A X A plus P zero B X B. Also equal to one minus X B P zero A plus P zero B X B. Also equal to P zero A minus P zero A X B plus P zero B X B. So P zero A plus P zero B minus P zero A X B. If Y A and Y B represents the mole fraction of component A and B respectively in vapor phase. Then Y A is equal to P A divided by P A plus P B is equal to P A by P total. This is equation first, and then Y B is equal to <coughs> P B divided by P A plus P B is equal to P B by P total. This is equation second, and now from these two equation first and second, we get P A is equal to Y A into P total, and P B is equal to Y B into P total. In general, P I is equal to Y I into P total. Now, Rolle's law for non-volatile liquids. Vapor pressure of each component is directly proportional to its mole fraction. So, P one is directly proportional to X one, so P one is equal to P zero one a one X one. Also P one by P zero b P zero one is equal to X one. Now ideal solution. An ideal solution is that solution which obeys Rolle's law in all conditions of temperature and concentration. That is. Delta V mixing is equal to zero, and delta H mixing is equal to zero. Also, forces of attraction between components are same as in pure state. So, A minus A is equal to A minus B is equal to B minus B. Here, minus means uh, bond sign. So, you can also read it as A dash A is equal to A dash B is equal to A dash um, B. Is equal to B dash B. Non-ideal solutions. The solution which do not obeys the Rolle's law is known as non-ideal solution. So in this type of solution, delta V mixing does not equal to zero. Similarly, delta H mixing does not equal to zero. So the force of interaction between solvent and solute is different than in pure state. now positive deviation in this uh, in this positive deviation a dash b interaction are weaker than a dash a or a b dash b interaction that is interaction between solute and solvent is weaker than solute solute and solvent solvent interaction this means in such um, solutions the molecules of a or b that is a dash b 
विल फाइंड इट इजियर टू स्केप देन इन प्योर स्टेट नेगेटिव डेविएशन इंट्रा मोलिकुलर अट्रैक्शन फोर्सेस बिटवीन ए डैस ए एंड बी डैस बी आर वीकर देन दो बिटवीन ए डैस बी दिस डिक्रीज जस्ट द स्केपिंग टेंडेंसी ऑफ मोलिक्यूल फॉर ईच कंपोनेंट ए डैस बी एंड कंसिक्वेंटली द वेपर प्रेशर डिक्रीजेस रिजल्टिंग इन नेगेटिव डेविएशन फ्रॉम द रोल्स लॉ नाउ फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज दोज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आइडियल सोल्यूशन विच डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द नंबर ऑफ मोलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द सोल्यूट डिजॉल्व इन द डेफिनेट अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एंड डू नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन नेचर ऑफ सोल्यूट द इम्पोर्टेंट कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज आर रिलेटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर सेकेंड ऑस्मेटिक प्रेशर थर्ड एलिवेशन इन बॉलिंग पॉइंट थर्ड डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट नेक्स्ट रिलेटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर सो रिलेटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर फ्रॉम रोल्स लॉ फॉर सोल्यूशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन लिक्विड्स पी जीरो माइनस पी एस डिवाइडेड बाई पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू एन टू डिवाइडेड बाई एन वन प्लस एन टू सिंस एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू एन टू डिवाइडेड बाई एन वन प्लस एन टू वे आर पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ प्योर सॉल्वेंट सो पी एस इज इक्वल टू वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन एन टू इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट एन वन इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोलवेंट फॉर डायल्यूट सोल्यूशन एन टू इज मच मच लेसर देन एन वन हैंस नेग्लेक्टिंग एन टू इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव पी जीरो माइनस पी एस डिवाइडेड बाय पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू एन टू डिवाइडेड बाय एन वन आल्सो इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू टू इन टू एम वन डिवाइडेड बाय एम टू इन टू डब्ल्यू वन वे आर डब्ल्यू वन एंड डब्ल्यू टू आर द मासस एंड एम वन एंड एम टू आर मासस ऑफ सोलवेंट एंड सोल्यूट रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑस्मेटिक प्रेसर्स प्रेसर ऑस्मेटिक प्रेसर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज आल्सो आस्क इन मैनी इंटरव्यू सो डू रिमेंबर दिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ द फ्लो ऑफ द सोलवेंट मोलिक्यूल फ्रॉम सोलवेंट टू सोल्यूशन थ्रू सेमी परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन इज कॉल्ड ऑस्मोसिस द flow of the solvent molecule can be stopped if some extra pressure is applied on the solution this pressure that just stops the flow of the solvent molecule is called osmotic pressure of the solution i repeat the process of the flow of the solvent molecule from solvent to solution through semi permeable membrane is called osmosis this flow of solvent molecule can be stopped if some extra pressure is applied on the solution this pressure that just stops the flow of the solvent molecule is called osmotic pressure of the solution so osmotic pressure of the solution is directly proportional to the molar concentration or molarity c of the solution and its temperature t mathematically pi is directly proportional to c pi is directly proportional to t pi is directly proportional to c into t or pi is equal to r into c into t where r is the solution constant equal to the gas constant so pi is equal to crt hence pi is equal to n2 by v rt this equation is called went off equation for dilute solution also pi v is equal to n r n2 rt but n2 is equal to w2 by m2 is equal to weight in gram of solute dissolve in v liter divided by molecular mass of solute so pi v is equal to w2 rt divided by m2 is equal to the 
एम टू इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू टू आर टी डिवाइडेड बाय पाई बी एलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट इज फाउंड दैट द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन इज ऑलवेज हाइगर देन दैट ऑफ प्योर सॉल्वेंट द इंक्रीज इज कॉल्ड एलिवेशन ऑफ बॉइलिंग पॉइंट डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू फाइंड एनी टाइप ऑफ डिफिकल्टी डूरिंग लिसनिंग डू ओपन द नोट्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम अवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट केमिस्ट्री नोट्स इन फो डॉट कॉम अंडर ट्वेल्थ क्लास सेक्शन एंड देर यू गेट द चैप्टर सोल्यूशन सो ओपन द चैप्टर एंड रीड नोट्स ऑल्सो सो यू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वेल द इक्वेशन विथ ग्राफ्स बिकॉज आई डोंट एक्सप्लेन ग्राफ्स बट देर इज ऑल्सो अ ग्राफ्स इन द notes so do open these notes on from our website www.chemistrynotesinfo.com let's continue elevation in boiling point it is defined it is defined it is found that the boiling point of the solution is always uh, higher than that of pure solvent the increase is called elevation in boiling point we know delta tb is equal to tb minus t0b where t0b and tb is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent and the solution becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure and delta tb is called elevation in boiling point also delta tb is directly proportional to m and delta tb is equal to kb m where kb is the molar molal elevation constant or एबुलियोस्कोपी कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एम इज द मोलेलिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूशन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मोलिकुलर मास ऑफ द सोल्यू एस मोलेलिटी इज द नंबर ऑफ सोल्यू मोल्स ऑफ द सोल्यू डिजॉल्व पर हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ द सोलवेंट एज मोलेलिटी इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ द सोल्यू डिजॉल्व पर हंड्रेड ग्राम of the solvent if w2 gram of solute of molecular mass m2 are dissolved in w1 gram of the solvent then m is equal to w2 divided by m2 into 1000 divided by w1 so delta tb is equal to kb into w2 divided by m2 into 1000 divided by w1 or m2 is equal to 1000 into kb into w2 divided by delta tb into w1 <coughs> depression in freezing point it is observed that the freezing point of the solution is always lower than that of pure solvent and decreases is called the depression in freezing point delta tf is equal to t0f minus tf where t0f is equal to freezing point of pure solvent and tf is equal to freezing point of solution similarly delta tf is equal to depression in freezing point also delta tf is directly proportional to m so delta tf is equal to kfm where kf is the molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant and m is molality of the solution calculation of molecular mass of solute delta tf is equal to kf w2 divided by m2 into 1000 divided by w1 or m2 is equal to 1000 into kf into w2 divided by delta tf into w1 went off factor it is defined as the ratio of the experimented value to the calculated property of the colligative property known as went off factor dear friends we completed solution chapter you can also download pdf copy of this <coughs> chapter from our telegram channel so search on telegram at the rate chemistry notes info and you get the channel chemistry notes info from where you can download pdf notes of this chapter and 
you can also read notes of this chapter from our website www.chemistrynotesinfo.com uh, you can find the link of our website and telegram channel in the description of this podcast thank you to listening this podcast this podcast is brought to you by chemistry notes info learning platform